Alrighty, getting ready for our first, well, my first game, I think Michael's second game of uh, Wild West Exodus. Eric, have you played this yet? I have not played this. Alright, so a couple noobs and a, and a one game experience. I'm rocking the Warrior Nations. I've got uh, Sitting Bull in uh, wolf form there. I got the Great Elk, and he is an excellent sized model. That is a War Machine gargantuan sized base. Then I got a couple little dudes over there with, uh, uh, here's where I hate reality versus fiction. That little dude cannot actually carry a minigun, but he's going to be tearing it up. And then I got a couple arrow dudes and a couple close combat dudes. Over here, Eric is rocking the Enlightened. And what do you got on the table there? We got a Doomsday. That's this. That is a big chunk of resin. Drop it in a sock and kill somebody with a piece of <laughs> resin. You got four long range hired hands, animated gunmen, Gustave Eiffel, <laughs> led by a frog. Wild, wild uh, west. <laughs> <laughs> you got a Frankenstein monster with a chain gun and a guy with a phonic blaster. See, Frankenstein I can accept. Frankenstein with the chain gun. I oh, can I'm sorry, Dr. Carpathian's creation. Uh, and what do you got down there, Michael? <laughs> oh, oh got... you're hidden behind the house. I can't see anything. Yeah, there's a heavy weapons. Uh, oh, uh, there he's got a sniper rifle. I got a uh, iron horse with rocket pods. Got Jesse James leading this bad bunch. I got a uh, close combat hired hand, a long range hired hand, Cole Younger, and then Frank James over here. With and he's got a. Uh, I don't know, it's like kind of like a named sniper rifle or something. And in the middle of the table, I assembled a uh, Terraclips uh, terrain piece like two years ago, and this is the first time I've had the chance to use it. So it's a little bit out of scale, but they would basically fit through the door if we were going to send anybody inside. So I thought it would make a cool, uh, cool centerpiece, something to fight around. Alrighty. Going to activate. Uh all right, then, I, I'm gonna, I think, interrupt you with my on the lookout thing. Prior to my move, or when I get Yeah, the on the lookout actually takes place before the enemy's uh, declared action, or okay. may interrupt the enemy's move action at any point. So you're declaring a move action. Yep. So as soon as you declare that, he'll go ahead and take a shot at you. All right. Because he, he can. Because, yeah, so normally you can only have one person on the lookout too, but... Uh, He's got trained sniper, and so does Frank James. So they get a start in on lookout mode, and they can also be in on lookout, regardless of it. you can. Only, I can have one other model in addition to them. They don't count as being a model on lookout for that. So his uh, uh, range range yes is thirty inches, 30, 30 inches. So it should be well within range, but it'll be long range, not short range. More than half, right? Yep. So... Well, no, um, you were at the back of my base. Oh, no, well, it'll still be longer than 15. Yeah, it's like 18 or something. Okay. 17. So, uh... So he starts off at, uh... Marksman of 5. Mm-hmm. And, uh, so it'll be 6 because of long range. And there's no other penalties. Does your lookout give you the automatic aim bonus? Uh, no, okay. no, he doesn't, he doesn't know that uh, that this guy gets that, but it has to be on his actual activation. Oh, okay. So, yeah, this is my, my regular dude, not Frank. So, I will put one influence towards it. I got a one, and I got a six. So, that will do it. Alright. Right, or because, yeah, it was five and it goes up to six. Yep. yep. Okay, did you spend the influence to do your reroll on that? Yeah, that was my. Okay. Yeah, because yeah, you you have I to. I don't know if your rifle had a rig fire or two. Nope, nope, just one. But yeah, so yeah, I had. Uh, so yeah, you clear your influence. All right, all right. So his damage is. Uh, it would be on the eleven. Right there. Alrighty, so. It's armor piercing, not that. Matters. Oh, so I wouldn't get an armor anymore. Well, so I still I essentially need to roll the ten. Oh, no, well, that, to not take any damage. Yeah. But, yeah. Well, yeah. You're going to probably take some damage. You got some markers and pens. If you roll a one, you might, or, or two or three, you probably die. I'll set a couple more of these on the balcony just so we got them. Nine. Out. I like that. Nine. So you only take two. Two. Uh, <coughs> is it from the gray or from the top? You can do it either way you want. The gray is no just... No, but... Or, 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 
Like, I would say is that my health, or is the whole thing my health? The whole thing's your health. Degrees are just increments of five. So Assuming you don't have anything else going on, I'm gonna no. finish my move. He's off, now he's not on the lookout anymore. Okay. Uh, well, I got two action points, and... So one action to move, and... Uh, I think I can see you there. So. so I'll use my second action to try to return the favor here. Uh, so that's second action to use my salvaged weapon. Really? You're just going to go cheap like that? It's a bow! I've got 18, and I am within that, but it'll be long. And, and cover. cover. So, so my uh, marksman, and marksman is 5, so 6, seven. 7. Alrighty. Um, and I will put one influence on that. Okay. And I have a rate of fire two. There you go. Don't do this other. And I will re roll into one hit. One hit. So that is uh Yeah, so power seven. Yep. So it's gonna do seven damage to me. I have uh, armor of nothing, so just whatever, 7 minus 8. You get better! He soaks it, yeah. I get that wound. Alrighty. And it just goes initiative order? Or? Yeah, you can activate up to 3, though. So you can do, you can, it's, yeah, 1, 2, or 3 miles. Okay. Okay. So you, you could be done now if you want and pass it, or you can do another. No, I'm going to try to uh, continue. Okay. Well, they were together, so just moving to there is not going to okay. be out of my range. And then second activation, he's going to do the same thing. Shoot at you, okay. using some influence. Means, what was it? Sevens. Sevens. Got one. Ten. Got two. So okay. two hits. Okay. And you're going to subtract. So they're both seven. So that one's not going to do any damage, the other one's going to do five. We're your nation, baby! <laughs> five damage. <laughs> I win. I've done the most damage. It's nine o'clock. Yeah, he doesn't have very much health either, unfortunately. <laughs> well, then the brave, my heavy weapon brave, Aww. he's going to... You're gonna feel strong. Holy crap. Oh no, I was looking at the wrong one. Holy crap. Oh, that's even better. Minigun, <laughs> minigun's got a rate of fire of three. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it does. So he's gonna expose himself, but he's gonna come over here. Facing doesn't matter, right? Uh, it does. It's, well, it's, not it's only if you go prone or aim, right? I think, yeah, there's only a couple things, okay. so yeah. So I'm still at long. Uh, so that's going to be, uh, where'd I go? Five, so six, but I don't think you have cover anymore. So I'll put a focus on that. And the minigun has a rate of fire. So you spent all of your. I got one, one left. left. Rate of fire of three. What's his marksman? Five. Five, so plus one for long range, so yep. six. One. You get to reroll both those dice for just the one influence, or is it just. I thought it was a full reroll. One die per influence. Yeah, one die. Oh, okay. So that was, I guess. Uh, case, two hits. But there's no cap. Oh, because you get hit with both of them, or. With your reroll? So, two hits at a uh, power seven. Power seven. Alright. I'm going to try to save him or not. You can cast influence towards your armor. Yeah. Too. As I was saying, if I want to try and save him or not. Power seven. Is there a cap on re rolling? Like, can you keep re rolling the same die as long as you. Yeah, you can keep as long as you've got the influence for it. Right. So, when you're on that's what I thought. Is thing, so. That's what I thought. I'll throw. I'll throw two influence at this. Alright, so I'm gonna roll them both. Oh, he's dead. Oh no! No, no. he's alive! Nice. Good roll. That's why a normal human can't fire a minigun. 
It just does this. <laughs> I just did the ice matrix style it. Alrighty, that's my three activations. Go. I'll go ahead and start with. Uh, I guess I'll just go and start with that heavy weapons guy. Um, he's probably just gonna s stay put. Um, so his first action he will reload because he has to for that stupid weapon. Second action, uh, he'll put an influence at shooting at. <laughs> Alright, so it's uh, so he's a five up, so it'll be six up for long range. So yeah, and I'll throw one influence at it. So first roll misses, second roll hits. Alrighty, um, so eleven armor piercing, and it has the RJ ten twenty seven roll. Do you have any interference I, stuff? Uh, not in this army. Yeah, but the enlightenment have a ton of it. Nine. Yeah. So it's, you were at eleven, you said. Yeah, so you take two, two more. Right. Or two more. I brought Carpathian, he can just shoot you with his ion pistol and disrupt all that noise. Nice. Alright, so that's like a. Let's see who's going to go next. Uh, I'll go ahead and activate the Iron Horse. Oh, and I took the rocket pods on it. Check that one. But I, I put the, the quick weapon in there. So I'm going to attempt to, it's got a rate of fire of two, two. this is going to be a maze balls, I think. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to try and shoot at the, that Indian right there. The heavy weapons dude? No, the, this one right Oh, the here. one, yeah. The, the, oh sure, you're going to run over my dude with a cow catcher. <laughs> no, no I'm, I'm shooting right now. Yeah. Shooting with the, with the rocket pods. Alright, so it's got a rate of fire of one, but it's. Uh, oh, it's heavy-handed. I need a six plus for it to hit. Um, or, but it'll be a uh, or thirty-six, so I might be in short range. So, um, let's see how many jump bullets I got. Am I with an eighteen? Yeah. Yep. Okay. So, so I just need a six plus for it to hit. So I will. I'll put one influence at that. Ten. All right. Didn't need it. All right. No armor, not that you have armor anyways because you're an engine. Got a loincloth. The protection of the great spirit. So it's going to land right on him then. So I'll hit both of those guys. Okay. For a power 12. Oh, that's a blast. Yeah. So they're going to have to take a courage test after it. It's a rocket pod. Alright, blue for the dude you were aiming at and white for the splash. Okay. Yeah, it's a thermite round too. So yeah. Wow. Is it I don't think it's worth saving either thermite? of them. Uh, no. I don't think you so. said it's power 12? Yeah, yeah I, I think the they're The thermite they're round, dead. though. Well, they're both dead. Yeah. Yeah, so we don't need to worry about courage or anything. Right. When, d when two hired hands get hit by a thermite <laughs> round, <laughs> your you thermite round halves the armor, right? Yeah, I believe that's what they're might yeah, have is armor. Okay. Yeah, that's but they don't have any anyways. Way. Yeah. Well. Oh, it matters for you. It matters a lot for me. Yeah. All right. So his second action, he'll go ahead and shoot at uh, your uh, guy. So this one I think will be long range. So yeah, I didn't need to. Sure. Um. I might as well oh. have to make sure. So much for my two dudes running around with bows. So uh, it's gonna go shooting on to your. Half of zero, we could blow up the universe if we try to divide that. Yeah, it's not like Google and Google. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, not use the influence muscle and just go shoot at him. So, yeah, I need a. Uh, se seven now? Seven, alright. Yep, six goes to seven. I get four, four. So, I'll miss. so, oh, that misses. So, uh, now I, I roll another die, right? Because it's still, yeah, it's it's still could technically hit him. Now, yeah. yeah, it deviates this far. Yeah, you try, you're supposed to try to roll it near the guy. So it's going to deviate five inches that way, so it's going to go somewhere over there. Alright, I got one more. Alright, I'm going to activate Jesse James then. That's a nice model. Yeah, I like it. And he's going to go ahead and shoot at the dude over there too. He's got a marksman of three plus though, and he's got uh, he's got he's gonna use his heat blast ammo, so that gives it a twenty four inch range, and it's a it's a blast 
with the thermite. So yeah, it's long. <laughs> Alright, so I need a 4 up. <clears throat> I rolled a 5 anyways for you there, Jordan. There you go. So that'll hit right on him. It's, uh, and it's power of 14. Alrighty. I'll also around him to get my hits. What do I got here? Five left. Um, oh, I forgot to declare my influence, so I guess, uh, gone. You gotta, yeah, I gotta roll. I have for that. So. See you. He's got two arrows and a Gatling gun, and I can't even take out one dude with a musket. I still really haven't taken any. <laughs> There's still really no points from you, but that was my three activations. <laughs> Alright, so it's mine now. Yep. First thing I'm going to do is roll the Doomsday forward. Oh. Eight inches. Let's get some cow catcher on elk action going over here. Oh, who needs to do that? I'm going to shoot you. Oh. Oh gosh. That is so big. <laughs> that is awesome. This is ridiculous. Evan wanted to know if he could play with it with his G.I. Joe guys. <laughs> <laughs> They're almost to scale. <laughs> Alright. At this point, the Doomsday, with its 28-inch Gatling guns, is going to attempt to shoot the Great Elk. So the Gatling guns on the Doomsday have a rate of fire of three, and there's a pair of them, so it's six attacks. Am I within 28 inches? Yes. I am. But you're more than 14. Yes. Now what's that, plus one for long range? Yes. I am going to commit two influence to this. Okay, now what about this wall that I'm half behind? I don't know. Well, for from line of sight from him to the... I mean, base to base, yeah. Well, he doesn't have a base, but... <laughs> if he had a base, yeah, we can draw a straight line, but I've got a wall in front of me. Yeah, but you stand <laughs> way taller than but the yes, wall. Yes, I'm much taller yeah. than the wall. But I, but, I mean, for, like, regular dudes, you just have to have some cover in front of you, but... Or do they have a large is... target rule? That's what I was wondering. Do you need like cover in from... front of you, or... Does it have to be within a certain range? Well, I thought it, was, it would count as an range. obstacle, anything oh. that's in the way. I only did, I still have... Yeah, between the tree and the wall, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that would be, so, so you get plus, plus one for that. Two. But yeah. And you can choose to take plus cover as an one. action, too, to make it another plus I don't one. think he can go prone. No. <laughs> not, not for going prone, for taking, you can take to cover, To dive for though. cover, you've got to be within one inch of it, don't you? Yeah. I'm yeah, well, yeah, yeah, I know, yeah, you can't right now, but right. if you moved up to something, you can spend an action to just take cover to... I'll hide behind All a right. sitting bolt. So, my marksmanship is a seven plus naturally. I need nines, nines. to hit. Six of them, though. Nice. And got six dice throwing. Jesus. Damn. There's That's... one nine showing. It's good that you rolled that many dice. Two influence on it? I'm going to spend my two influence, of course, since they're already committed. There's a ten. ten. So yep. that one is going to punch through your armor due to a special rule. Armor? I'm an elk. Do you have armor? Actually, I have six armor. Not on that shot. You don't. No, I don't. <laughs> so you are taking... It's thermite. Oh. To begin with. And a roll of ten ignores your armor completely. So the one hit is going to be at half armor, the other hit is at no armor. Okay, so... Power eight. 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 Here's the white is half armor, blue is no armor. And I'd just like to see a couple tens pop up here. White is half armor, blue is no armor. So white is half armor, so do we round up or down? Uh, well, you don't need a round. You just add plus three. Oh, that's right. I was looking at the round. I was looking at my so marksmanship. So add plus three to your white. Dad. Yeah, so that's going to be uh, eight and so uh, for four. One. Four. So you take. So you take four. You take four damage yeah. off the one that killed your armor. And how do you allocate? The great elk has location. Yeah. Is, I, so I, we I, roll, I, and it's marked on the card. Oh yeah, yeah. He rolls, and then it goes. It's marked on the card. It's like yeah, a machine. One, well, do you roll? Yeah. I would roll to see where it goes, so to that's going to go on your three, which is probably a weapon if it's laid out yep. like the Doomsday Yeah, is. I think they are the same. Or, well, no, I think they're a little different, actually. 
Well, some of them are anyways. Some are, some aren't. Yeah. If your power source goes down, your entire heavy support is toast. Yeah, you can't move anymore? No. If your power source is gone, you're done. You're Oh, you're done? I thought you just couldn't move anymore. No, you still fire if you're... Oh, no, you can't fire either. Yeah, you're just... We well, use counters like a piece of train or something. If propulsion's yeah. gone, you can't move. Weapons are gone, you can't do anything with your weapons. Power source is gone, the whole model's toast. Alright, so I'm leaving my D10 on the model to show that it's activated. Action I, I think it requires creation fire. 13. He is going to move to free up a better line of sight here. Alright, I'm going to interrupt your turn. Shoot okay. at you. Overwatch sucks See in 40k! It sucks in this game! <laughs> okay, he's 30 inches. Oh, it's 30? Yeah. Oh good, if you can shoot me, that means I can definitely shoot you. It's not a pre-measure game, but I'll let you measure off your shot. Well, this guy does. <laughs> this guy pre-measures. You, you can't unknow things. That's right. Um, and yeah, he doesn't suffer the penalty for shooting into combat either, which is pretty sweet. And he treats his two-handed weapon as one-handed. Okay, I'm Just gonna tell you this. Weapons. You better deal 16 damage, or you are going to be sucking up four power eight thermite shots. Challenge accepted. Well, he's marksman 4+, plus, so it's going to be plus 1 for moving. So I got 5. And he's got armor piercing 10, so... Okay. So I need to roll a 5. Nope. Got it. 10. And armor piercing. Power 10 armor, armor piercing. So subtract 2 from armor, right? Mm -hmm. Armor piercing. So subtract 2 from your armor. Okay, so I'm armor one against this. And it's power ten. Power ten, yeah. So I'm gonna take one one damage. <laughs> Lame. Lame souls. Alright. So I am rolling, committing two more influence. The last two I've got for the turn on these shots. So you long range. I'm long range and you've got I'm intervening terrain. Train and I'm in cover. Do you? I should have both. Does intervening terrain and cover stack or is it Yep, thing? it stacks. And I can take cover for an additional plus one. Okay. I guess I have. That is my base is like in the wall. I don't know. From so where I'm at, it looks like I got more than fifty percent of your shell. I don't want to be a rules thing about it. Well, I'm for sure in cover for the plus one, but yeah. we can do uh, let's 50 50 because I, I think it looks pretty close. So works for me. Uh, oh yeah. So or what do you or what are we doing? Uh, well, I was gonna say so you six roll. up. He's in cover, and otherwise he's so not. Just go odd and even. So he's uh, not in cover. Okay. So so he just he is, well he's in cover, but he doesn't get the intervening train. Right. Plus one for long range. And plus one for cover. Plus one for cover. Are you gonna take cover? No, I have to spend. I have to do that on my turn. Oh, right. Like I'd have to spend one of my actions to take cover. And so I'm at plus two marksmanship. Says, Taking cover. My yeah. marksmanship is six up normally. These tokens are nice because like there's so many different things you can do like prone and fire. There's a ten. Reroll those other ones. So you spent all your influence. All my influence is gone. Mm -hmm. And I will hit you twice with thermite rounds. That right. 10 does what now? Takes away my armor. No armor at all against yep. that one? I only had armor one anyways though, so. Okay, and the other one's thermite. So yeah, having armor. But that wouldn't matter. So yep, so, uh, so no armor. No armor. armor on either shot. Yep. All right, so the Gatling gun is power eight. Power eight. Soak some damage. Some eights, nines, and tens here. Six and a four, which is power eight. So power eight, two shots six. hit. So you take six damage. All right, so oh, bitches. The fell is going to attempt to take a shot with his spider cannon. Spider cannon does whatever a spider can. Right. So, rate of fire two. Uh, 
and I'm at long range with the marksmanship five. You've got intervening, or uh, you've got cover there. Puts me at six ups. It is thermite though. Alright, so you got one power eight. Nine. For game, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that takes it back to Jordan. Alright. With all my other people. Oh, wait, they're gone. Um, <laughs> oh, come on now. This game Just sucks. Got, at least it was only the guys you already activated, so at least they gotta do something. That's right. You haven't lost any, th any of your good stuff yet. Well, the, the Gatling gun guy, kind of. Alright, why don't you go start with, with the. Uh, Came to bed. Go to bed. Great Elk, he gets three yeah, APs. What's going on here? Go to bed. So. Yeah, this will be easier to go back to back at this point. Oh man, I got crew mounted rifles on the Doomsday that were in range. <laughs> oh. Crap. Yeah, that thing's got like a breath attack, too. It's got like yeah. spirit breath or yeah. something. <laughs> yeah. Spirit breath, huh? Yes. <laughs> so it breathes fire water on you or what? Something. It is fire, yes. Spirit <laughs> breath. Fire thermite rounds. Uh, <laughs> yeah, go breathe on that fucker. I'm going to. <laughs> Are you close enough? Uh, oh, yeah. How long is the large template? Right there, 11 inches. Uh, oh shit, it's close. Does the template have to cover it or just touch it? I think just touch. Yeah, just touch it. All right. Oh yes. For my Jordan, third action, Jordan with template madness <laughs> again. It's not bad enough oh, for the okay. damn dwarf gun the dwarf line. <laughs> what did you have a template? You had. I didn't, but oh. it was just adding more. More artillery to the pain. Different game. <laughs> All right, so uh, you got it. Yeah, I'm touching you. Uh, okay, any models even partially under the template may be hit by attack. For, the attacker makes a marksmanship roll to hit every model, excluding himself, touched by the template. This roll never suffers from any negative modifiers to hit, but always, okay. always on the model's unmodified marksmanship value. So yeah, you roll for every model as such. Ooh, All right, those are, that's good to have. My great elk with his thermite fire breath is gonna light up. <clears throat> Doomsday. Alright. Superman here. Alright. So the Great Elk has a uh, marksmanship of five. You got one influence left, or? Yep. And I'm going to put it on there. Yeah. And there's a six. Okay, so I'm good. good. Alright, so that's power 13. Power 13. And fire, I if that is especially flammable, and thermite rounds. So. It'll have the damage, but the fire, I believe, means it's going to have to take a courage check. Uh, it's heavy support. They never take. Oh, support. heavy support never takes them. Okay. No. Well, not for template weapons. Not for fire. Not for template weapons. Not for temple weapons. You might want to check that. Okay. 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 All right. So armor, what it's have rounds down, right? Yep. So I'm at armor three. So I need a ten. Oh yeah. Zero damage off this, and I seven. roll a seven. So that's good enough. That it's means I take three. Yeah, minus your armor three. To the uh, so oh you so you catch on fire is what happens. Okay, what's that mean? To the five, to the five hole, huh? So when it's activated, you roll a d10. On an eight, nine, or ten, it will go out, and the model is no longer fire. On any other roll, the model remains on fire and suffers an immediate power ten hit. Oh, this doesn't sound familiar at all. <laughs> it may elect to stop, drop, and roll instead of making on fire roll. The heavy support. I want to see the crew jump out. No. Roll that over. <laughs> it, 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 it says the heavy support cannot elect to stop, drop, and roll. Uh, fire continues until an 8, 9, or 10 is rolled, or life blood equals 0. All right. That was the three activations for the elk. Now Sitting yeah. Bull is... Uh, he's fast as fuck, too. He is. He's got a quickness of 8. That's fast. And 1... Twice as fast as my constructs. Um, Twice as fast? They're speed four. They're pretty slow. They're shambling mechanical zombies. I'm surprised they're four. Well, four is two less than a human. Yeah, let's just get him up there. What's Sitting Bull's armor look like? He doesn't have armor. Just, he's a wolf. Right. No, What's one. Armor? He's one, yeah. He's armor one? Yeah. There's not good armor in any of the... Well, I guess the Great Elk has armor, but I don't think else really in the army, I don't think. And then, since we can... 
Might as well get you up there. Within melee then? Um, yeah, here with his, his, here with his three halo inches, is three. Inches, yep. So you're going to make a strike immediately when you move into melee? Or, anyway. yep, you got it. Well, I might as well use my fangs. Move to engage. If a model that is not engaged when activated makes a move action that ends with the model engaging an enemy, the moving model may immediately perform one free strike at the one end of the yep. move without spending an additional action point. Yep. Make a single strike regardless of the number of strikes on profile or of the number of weapons he carries, just one attack. Alright, well then I'll use my so fangs it, since it's a higher power. However, if the enemy survives a free strike, that enemy gets one free action, either a quick draw or counter strike. Yep. Oh, his marksmanship sucks. Well, you don't need marksmanship. I know, but I'm just looking oh, at it. You're looking at physical ability. Yeah, yeah. just looking at his marksmanship. Yeah, he's a melee man. Yeah. Alright, yeah, my PA is a 3+. plus. And that is a 10. So no armor. That's right. So that is power 12. Okay. So the power 12, no armor. That is correct, sir. Does that happen against heavy support, too? Yeah, it's just critical strike. It's a crit, yeah. Well, here's the reason I ask. My guns on the Doomsday specifically have a rule that says when a roll of 10 is taken against heavy support, it ignores that model's armor value. So if well, you have to write a specific rule, it seems a little weird. That doesn't seem... Well, maybe Heavy Support has a special. Yeah. I'll check. It's under Sonic, Sonic shots. shots. They're immune to lethal hit. Oh, okay. Page 251. Under, it's under damage, or...? Uh, yeah, it's under damage. Just below where it says 1, 2, 3, 4. All that layout for where things so are. So if I hex are immediately close to the Okay. So immune to lethal damage, which go. means I've still got my armor set in. Seven? Jeez. Damn. How many? Twelve. Well, don't you, uh, what do your fangs do? Don't, you, don't they have like a special thing about... No. Nope. Fangs ready to fire. Yeah, my spirit daggers have all sorts of Look stuff. Look on the back side. Doesn't he? I thought he had something about armor too. Well, I have frenzy. Yeah. Oh, so you get another attack for rolling a ten. Mm-hmm. Mm, just let me... I haven't killed anybody yet, and, oh, but this model, oh, I haven't killed anybody yet, so I've got to kill stuff, so that, okay, yeah, so, Frenzy, for each attack in close combat that rolls to hit a roll of 10, uh, this model may make an additional strike up to a maximum of two additional strikes per activation. All right. So, well, this wouldn't count, though, because this is the, this is the charge attack, right? It doesn't matter, you roll the 10 on yeah, the strike. Yeah, so you get an additional attack. Yeah, but the, uh, all right. Yeah, normally you only get one, but yeah, I'd say you get this, because... If I'm the, gonna roll in the, like the roll like, will override it. Yeah, like three. Predatory so if that's a hit, should. but not a ten. Okay. So two hits. So two hits for a grand total of twenty-four, 24. damage that yeah. I'm dealing with. Minus Woo! seven to start. My fourteen total. Of one. Well, how much damage am I trying to soak? Twenty-four. Yeah. So I need ten on the dice. There's nine and one. one. Well, there you go. Constant. Well, one plus. Well, you know that technically doesn't work because one plus seven is eight, so you're still gonna take. Yeah, because you're gonna proc yeah, you the damage combine for attack, yeah, right? combine for, So the one will completely ignore, but the other one you'll take. Was it fourteen? Twelve. Twelve minus eight, eight. so you'll take four for four, that one. Okay. And we have to roll zero. Four yeah. to your. I'm not gonna use this die anymore. Eight. Yeah, so I'm gonna hurt. Four to my eight hole. There goes the propulsion. So I'm now You're a brick. mobile brick. And then does it spill over? Yes, damage does spill over. Did you get that out from under there, or do you need me to go looking for it? I didn't get that out from under there yet. Okay. I certainly can. Now, here comes my pull out the gun and hope for a miracle shot. Uh, Don't the Okay, so. Quick draw. So marksmanship 7 plus naturally. Did, did some have to spill over, or no? One. One, so you have to roll randomly for where it goes then, right? No, it okay. just, it doesn't go over to the next, or? I think you roll, I, let's see. I thought it spilled over to what was next. Um, uh, alright, well, I've marked it as going to the one, because that would have been where the wraparound was. Okay. So here's my quick shot. Thermite round. I need a nine. And That's I a three. Roll a three. 
So that you can't work. fight this! No. It's as if your power source is destroyed, you are reduced to one action point for the remainder of the game. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're gonna complete that one, this one. Alright. But can you go to another level? What fight? happens was... with propulsion? You're a rock? Yeah, well, propulsion, uh, the location destroyed, the model cannot move for the rest of the game. When every sport model is destroyed, you replace the model with a destroyed heavy sport model marker from. Okay. I feel uh, that these are not going to live long with your thermite rounds, but at least I've immobilized you. Well, at so, least I'm positioned reasonably well. So excess damage from the weapons location goes to propulsion. Excess damage from the propulsion location goes to weapons. And excess damage from weapons or propulsion cannot go to the other location described above. Oh, okay. Right. That's, That's different. Power source. All right. So yeah, it never goes on the power. It goes on. It the only power goes source on the power source if everything yep. else is full. Yep. Okay. Got it. And so did you? Yeah. Did you have a counter strike there then? Uh, yeah, you might have missed. I missed. Oh, you would. No, I had to shoot. Oh, you can only uh, counter strike with melee. Uh, well, oh, you can do a, a quick draw. Yeah, well, that's what I yeah. thought. But, but I, I needed a nine and I rolled a three, so. If he's outside of the fighting halo of your model, he is. Yep. Yeah, then you can perform a quick draw. What's the rule on? Because it doesn't say I have a halo at all. Oh, that's weird. So yeah, because yeah, you're not on the base. Well, my only melee weapon is a ram. Yeah. Oh, yeah, but that's a specific thing when you run into something. Right. Which so, is yeah, that's why. So you have, useless. You always do a quick draw then. <laughs> so it's all right. Yeah, negative two. I assume your guns are not on a turret by the looks of that? No, they're fixed. All right, so I just have to move to the but left. You've got crew with <laughs> They're 180 degrees. Yeah, I just I got to get behind you. Yeah, that's true. Um, you've got, got crew, crew mounted, mounted rifles you, right? yeah. Yeah. as well. All right. And those have 360 degree sight, as far as I know. Well, yeah, but I, I'm just thinking, I think I'd rather take shots from your crew rifles than your... Yeah, that's true. And then... And if it's a counter-strike, you only get one shot. So. Um... So, Sitting Bull is finished. Yeah, I'm just debating what to do with these two. Yeah, well, I can only do something with one of them, so... Or you can pass for the... This round two. Yeah, you could save your activations. Well, that's... Well, they don't get to roll over. No, but like, if you take, you know, on your next round, you'll only get to do one guy then. And I've got at, at least two rounds, you know. Left, mm, I that's four, true. I got four yeah. guys still haven't gone. Yeah, I'll hold these guys. And he's got five that haven't gone. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so it's me? Yep. All right, so I'm going to start with Frank James. He's going to, um, he gets a free aim at the beginning, and then he's going to... Do I want to take cover with Or just shoot twice? Well, I'll shoot first and see what happens. So, um... Or, actually, I don't need to take... Well, I mean, it's free, so whatever, I'll do it. But that only helps if you have intervening train and stuff, right? I think it just lets you ignore the penalties for... Right. Yeah, that's what the aim does, I'm pretty sure. Does it let you ignore long range? Aim just adds two to your marksmanship, or a minus two to your target number, doesn't it? Uh, I I thought it just lets you ignore training or something. Aim, 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 aim. aim. Oh no, it's minus two to marksmanship. Okay. So. And ignore tr intervening train shooting into combat and prone hit one. Well, let me spend next point. Well, let's say please. Just make sure the model will receive the following bonuses: negative two to marksmanship. Well shot and worse training. So yeah. what is that guy? That's that's a phonic blaster. Oh, you get the phonic blaster. So he's like a on it? weapon guy. Mm -hmm. How much life does he have? Uh, four pips. And he hasn't gone yet. Nope. Maybe we should try to pick him off. You could. It'd be funny. He'd explode. All right, I'll try it. Oh, Dark Age. There's a game with good explosions. Yeah, I know. Yeah, Dark Age. Anybody <laughs> who's got like a any kind of spray weapon. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like if you hit them. Uh, in melee, like yeah, they might. Explode. You don't need. You don't even need to kill well, them or do you, damage. You can shoot out too. Yeah. But yeah, if you hit like yeah on certain rolls, the yeah it'll blow up their tank and every every piece of equipment has like a, a crit failure roll. So if you roll that yeah, on you, your you own can attack, blow up yourself, yeah. Too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because yeah, everything's kind of like ramshackled together because it's post apocalyptic. Yeah. There's like these saw blade things that you shoot out your arm and yeah. like. All right, well I'll try to shoot at him then. So and he has his free aim, so his marksmanship is minus two, so. He goes to a uh, two up. From this range, angle, so the wall a, is attacking. He'll need a three up. <laughs> he gets a six. 
So that hits at power 10, armor piercing. Power 10, armor piercing, so I have no armor on this. And it's power 10, you said? Yep, so you need to roll at a least ten. a 7. <laughs> All right, 7 or higher and he's still in the game. That does not, so we would normally have a three inch template, okay. but there's nothing to blow up. All so. right. Way to go. Ha, ah, you wasted it. You wasted it. One of you wasted the explosion. I'm from James Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Just so you know, this gun is low power. It's only like power four, but it can push your guys around. Oh, oh nice. All right, he'll take his other shot at, uh, do you what? think those guys have damage on him yet? No. What's oh. the range on it? On your Phonic Blaster? Yeah. Phonic Blaster's range. It's template. Oh, long, so you could just move a whole unit? Long template. Nice. Everybody hit by the template can be pushed back. I think it's like two or three inches. All right, I'll shoot the... And I think Edison's got a pair of them. Nice. Shoot, he's got speakers. And all straight at that. Uh, just at the guy right you know, in front of me first. Then I guess. Eiffel. Wild, right. wild west. So he goes... Uh, normally he's a 4-up, so it'll go to a 5-up for long range, because he doesn't have the aim anymore. Okay. And he rolls a 2, so that'll miss. Alright. So that's Frank James. Alright, um... Well, oh, hits the little guy. That was hard to see, but the big arachnid <laughs> can... <contra> <laughs> well, it, it, it shot between the little pylons. There you go. You see the spot? Splash onto Frankenstein. <laughs> yeah. Rifle bullets don't splash. Not even RJ-10-27 ones. Alright, I'm gonna move him up to... I have a feeling I should have brought Carpathian rather than Eiffel. Because then I could just resurrect this guy. Oh wait, he doesn't go away. Yes he does, because he exploded. Because he was shot to death. Right, I'm gonna move Cole. Up six inches. Cole the Younger. And then I'll attempt to shoot at him with my uh, pistols. Okay. Pull his Colts, 18 inches. This will be long range. I got two of them. Uh, power eight. Oh, and rate of fire too. Blue, blue, blue. Four dice. Uh, it marks him in four, plus one for long range, so I need fives. What does stun do? Got two hits. Oh, I think you lose an activation. That, I believe it's yeah. It doesn't stack, but it's one activation per stun. Yeah, I, I mean, you can't be you can be stunned multiple times, but it's only one activation. Total, right. yeah. Yeah. Because that spider shot that Eiffel launched over at Frank has stun that I didn't see until now. Well, he didn't get hit anyways, right? Or did you have to take one for it? That's what I wonder. Yeah. Did no? I think I missed both shot. No. Well, he messed with this. Second shot, uh, his second action was to no effect anyways. This one. Right. So, but yeah. Any ball that's hit by this one will lose one AP during his next activation. Yeah. Yep, so. Also wash. So yeah. So he lost his second activation that did nothing for it him. It did anyways. nothing anyway. <laughs> it, it, the game just knew that, so I got two sixes there. <laughs> so, two hits at power eight. Okay, Thermite, anything crazy? No, RJ 1027. Alright, armor three. So what kind of damage am I taking? Eight. Looking at eights? No. Yep. So I need fives on the dice. I'm going to take one damage there and none on the other one. <clears throat> so that, and that was move and shoot, so he's done. And let's see. So Frank and him, I can do one more. Sure, we'll do it. Whatever. Get out there. So he's in six. Boop. And he'll attempt to shoot at that guy too. What's this guy? That's uh, activated. Oh, okay. So his uh, marksman is five plus one for long range. So needs six. Okay. He doesn't get it. Nobody wants to hit Eiffel. That's good. We want to. We just can't do it. Can't make it happen. All right, that's me. All right, so it's down to me. I'm going to aim with my long range hired hand. Here mm -hmm. at Sitting Bull. Mm -hmm. so There's one action point to aim and one to actually fire the rifle. I'm looking at long range, I believe. Yep, long range. So, so, we, so it's, it's minus, minus two, two plus, and then one. plus three. 
Why three? Or uh, one for this long guy range. has nothing in. Well, he's in, in two for in combat. You're oh, shooting right. into combat because I'm engaged. Okay. Yes. You're at long range. Oh, Everything from your gas truck, me us up. <laughs> okay. It's your calf. This muscle. episode of biology brought to you by your calf muscle. <laughs> okay, he's packing a pair of rifles. All right, <laughs> so I need eight. And you get none of them. Uh, You're not gonna do the fast forward thing and voiceover it. Okay. Uh, some of that I'm gonna do too. But mm -hmm. <clears throat> next guy is gonna repeat the process. Okay. Also needing eights. He's got a ten, so that's lethal damage. Yeah. No armor. Not like it matters. Well, my armor is one, one. So. Yeah. <coughs> All right. So you're looking at power eight. Alrighty. So I'd like to see eight. Well, he hasn't been hit, so that's fine. Well, I'd like to see an eight, but I'll. I guess I'll get a one. Ooh. Okay. So five, six, seven. Mm. Our third buddy's gonna do the same thing. Do you reallocate misses shooting into combat? No, I don't believe so. I, think... I didn't see that. I thought I it was think... just a penalty. It's just there's just a penalty okay. for it. You never hit your own dude. You just have right. a harder time aiming into cool. it. Third guy repeating the process. Got an eight and a two. The eight will hit. Okay. So I would like a seven. And I get a 10. Okay. So you're good on that one. All right, and then it's back to you. All right. Do either of you have interruptions yeah. on these dudes if I move? No. Okay. No. Then they're both just gonna spend both their activations to... Yeah, I don't have anybody on the lookout anymore. Okay. And I'm done. So it's, it's me? Yep. All I got is my one close combat guy. So he's gonna go... This guy's simply gonna move twice. Okay. Just Hi, how are you doing? Two AP. That's all he's got. Okay. And there's no run action or anything, is there? Not as far as I know. I didn't think so. If I didn't see it, that's one of the things it I always check. Seems like they check. tried to streamline, so there's just Dark Age is the same way. It's you, if it's you want to double your movement, you have to spend have to two spend actions two to do it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, all right. I forgot I added it to my Kickstarter, mm -hmm. um, and I so I bid on it on the Jack Vassal auction. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you have two copies of those? Yeah, I got two copies. Yeah. Okay. All right. So then we reset, and then it's, so now it's reinit, right? Yep, reinit. And I get my focus, but not my focus. Yep, and everybody, influence. Everybody influence. gets their influence back, two unless games. you lost a model that contributes the influence. Yep. Not yet. I still have Sitting Bull. And if you have, if you're using activation tokens, take them all back. <clears throat> Alright. Seven. Eight. Alright. All right. Well. So, here, you did, what'd you get? Eight. eight. So it's you, me, okay. Same, Same order. order. Oh, Alright. This is gonna suck. This so, is gonna suck. Yes, Sitting Bull is gonna rave. So now, you said it. templates, um, you do have it's like hit. Warhammer, whatever it's under. Yeah, whatever it's under. Like, it's if under. I overshoot, like. Yeah, yeah, you see, yeah, yeah, if you move up next to him, yeah, yeah you can try to get him but, off. You're gonna tag sitting bull with that template, maybe. Well, not well, if I come over there. Yeah, and you can you can sure. lay the template however you want, so you can make sure you don't get in. So there's nothing with cover of a template, right? Not for the template. No, yeah, yeah. Okay. You get no cover. So from we're not templates. worried about the little dude hiding behind a giant ass tank. No, it's okay. liquid fire. It is spirit <laughs> breath. Yeah, spirit breath. Okay. Um, keep your fire water away from me. If you're engaged in combat, can you shoot? Uh, you could do a quick draw. No, I mean just shoot. Oh, shoot outside of combat? Right. I don't think you can. I don't know for sure. I think you have to attack who you're in combat with, I'm pretty sure. I think all you can do is a quick draw. I think that's what it was. You had to You have to attack what's in your halo. Yep, Nothing's I've... in my halo. Oh, that's true. You don't have a halo. That's oh, that's true. right. Yeah. How does that work if you don't have a halo? Well, okay, so the great elk goes seven. Feels wasteful moving. I can just torch you three times. Well, I might as well just do that. I'm just gonna try torching you. Nobody's moved, so I'm still within range of the template. So for my first action point, I'm going to where's my elk? Breathe on you again. 
Power 13, and Marksmanship 5. I, I, don't, I don't think it's being stupid to go take out the James Brothers. That's some famous outlaws over there. That's some famous outlaws. <laughs> so my first action point was a hit on that dude. Um, so you rolled your attack and it was a hit. Yes. So that's where we're at. Now you're doing okay. your armor. It's thermite, half your armor. He's got thermite? Yeah. My No, this is the Great Elk. I'm doing my, my okay. large template blast. All right. I got a little confused there. No. So he always so he just <coughs> staying He's just put, doing you didn't move him. Great up. I'm gonna take two shots to see if I can in my head I'm doing two and hopefully moving. Okay. That's, that's what I see what you're saying. Goal is here, but we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> just because we can't see the result. What is that? A five? That's a five, that's not enough. Okay, that's so that's uh, power thirteen. <clears throat> power thirteen and I have your armor. eight of it off. To the one. To the one hole, huh? So that's five more to your yeah, it might not matter that he's pooched, actually. The breath weapon might take it off we'll before see. that even comes right. out. Alright. So Plus he's on fire, still so... Still got power source. Even if you don't I've finish him off, weapons. you might burn to death on his turn. Alright, so for my second activation... Worthless hunk of resin pieces. Worthless <laughs> hunk of resin pieces. <laughs> that's $80. That's 225 points. That's a paperweight. <laughs> it would be a great paperweight. Uh, that's a hit. <laughs> Papers ain't going nowhere. No. <laughs> You're 10. Well, that's good. Uh, so we'll ignore use, that hit. They shorted me a yep. few bases, so I need to get those from them, too. So... Shot number three? Yeah, I'll do it. I'll shot number three. Um, five. So hit. Nine on the dice plus three is a total of 12. So Where's that last one? One on the two. On the two hole. I don't like things in my two hole. Well, nobody does. All right, for my second good. activation, I'm going to activate sitting bow and attempt to turn that into a true paperweight. I'm going to. <laughs> I'm going to. Yeah. For my first activation, I'm did going. Did you turn to... the camera back on? Or oh god, I hope so. <laughs> yeah, I did. Oh, okay, redo it all. Now okay, I miss wait. everything. <laughs> I just made sure because I already paused and I was like, uh. I don't mind losing, but I hate getting screwed by the rule book. <laughs> Right. Well, you haven't been screwed by the rulebook yet. Yeah. So well, far, well, well, technically he has, yes, but I there have, could be a I fact. Can't do anything about it. But you might not. You might not even get a chance to activate. <laughs> yeah, you again. might not get a chance to be screwed by the rulebook. That's book. what I'm saying. Fair enough. <laughs> okay. It, it hasn't yeah, actually happened. happened yet, or you've tried to activate him and not been able to. So do now it. I'm going to go to Sitting Bull, and I'm going to activate. <laughs> so when I use my activation, then I get I do all my you get three strikes. Yeah. And you get. Well, you're out of range of your fangs, so unless you move, you'll only get to do your... So you'd have to do an action to move within one inch. No, I'm just going to stick with my claws. Okay, yep, so you'll get... But that's two uh, That's two attacks each, yep. and I can do that three times. Yep, and you'll do that three times. So you'll roll okay. six dice for one action point. Oh, that, yeah, that's right. Yeah, he's a beast in combat. Two. He's a, such a beast in combat. Four. Six. Was Bruins wit ripping you up with them? Or? Uh, no, not so much because we didn't realize exactly how that worked the first time we played there. Okay. We figured that out at the end of the game. I was like, because I was like, range seems really a lot better. And then they were like, because he was only doing the one, he was only doing one, he wasn't doing the three strikes. So he was hitting me two oh. in the fang. And I, and I was like, yeah. And then we were like, all oh, right. Afterwards, we were looked through the rule book again to make sure we were doing everything right. So my PA is three. So let's hope for a Wait, when I figured that out, I was like, holy shit. That's Three pluses good. here. Um, because Jesse actually yeah. took him out in close So combat. that's six hits. Uh, oh, power just... eight. Six power eights. Anything thermite or crazy? Sadly, no. I, I don't have thermite right, that claws. That means I only need ones to ignore them. That's fine. Oh really? Yeah. So you can't. So you can't even get through that. Oh, you need your fang. I'm armor seven. <sighs> yeah. Well, that was a waste ones. of an activation. Uh, yeah. Yeah, they're well, all Unless nice. all your dice fall <laughs> off the table. <laughs> he rolls it. Is there, any, is there any such thing as a critical failure? Dick. No, I don't No, think it's, I don't it's a good. crit hit and a crit dodge, but there's no there's crit no failure. failure. Okay. I don't think so. Well, that was dumb. <laughs> so I'm already engaged, so but you won't get the... I don't get You won't get a shot. quick draw. No. Nope. All right. So yeah, yeah, you can't can, do anything about it, so you so can yeah, sit you there can move up to your inch to get your fang. Beat your knife. Against the armored hull. Where's your little uh, one-inch measurement? 
because I'm just gonna do it to one. Oh yeah. crap! What? You can tie up my one gunman too if you move right. I could, but I'd also open myself up to three other. <laughs> You're already open to all three of them. They all shot at you That's last true, turn. Yeah. That's true. That's true. I could try to lock you up. All you right. So I gotta be. Well, I know it's not a pre measure, but so. I just want to make sure that I can that I'm yeah. within the one. And I have eight inches, and I climb. So there are three letters I want you to look at on that card. Okay. <laughs> and that should put me within an inch of everybody. <laughs> Three letters? Dare I ask what you're about to drop on me? It's oh, he's awesome. dead? Okay. <laughs> okay, right, so wait, that's oh, my that was second... Only, it was on that guy who's dead? Or, oh, oh, it's, it's on all constructs. All constructs, yeah, I said that, yeah. Or are you dudes contract? constructs? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, they're all like zombie dudes. Okay. They're half mechanical zombies. Uh, All right, so that was yeah, my second well. activation. Third, I guess I will... I